you ever seen videos like this before? Many kids all over the world love watching this. It's like a daily show for them. They are raking up millions of views, making over $40,000 a month. And the crazy thing is, their videos can be created with AI in literally no more than 10 minutes. And most importantly, for free. To show you the proof, here is a quick clip of the video I was able to create in 10 minutes. That is better than the channels we are replicating. Oscar wandered the forest, his boots crunching over fallen leaves when he discovered a glowing egg hidden beneath a bed of moss. Heart pounding, he carried it home. That night, the egg cracked open, revealing a tiny dragon with emerald green scales and golden eyes. Oscar smiled and named him Lando. I'm going to show you precisely how you can create these videos, and you won't need to spend a single dollar because I found a few AI tools that will let you create the entire process for free. So there's actually five parts to creating the actual video, but I'm also going to be revealing one last tip at the end of the video that I've learned from running multiple faceless YouTube channels. People usually pay thousands of dollars for this information, buying courses, so make sure you listen. To start off, we need an idea and a script. As for the idea, I would recommend starting off by relying on proven concepts, meaning you take inspiration from other videos on YouTube that are performing well. For this example, I will make a story about a boy named Oscar and a small dragon called Lando. To generate the script, we'll use ChatGPT, which is free. So just go ahead and open a new chat. Before this video started, I sat down and created the perfect prompt that will give you a script tailored to the style of these animated channels. And of course, you can adjust this prompt to fit your style of videos. To change the prompt, paste it into ChatGPT and type, based on this prompt, write me a story about and insert your own topic that the video is going to be about and the script will be written according to that. Once that's done, paste the prompt in just like this and hit generate. And as you can see, it generates the entire script for us. Now, you need to ask ChatGPT to divide your story into 24 scenes where each scene represents an image we'll animate later on in the video. But keep in mind, you need to do 24 or more scenes to get the best results. Anyways, now that we've got the scenes ready, it's time to generate image prompts for each scene. To do that, use this prompt. You can grab this prompt inside my Discord channel. So open the free resources section and look for a link labeled animation story. It's free. Anyway, with the prompt ready, just hit enter and Chad GPT will generate detailed image prompts for all the scenes in your story. Now, this is important. The first image prompt will usually define your character's appearances. This is crucial for consistency, so make sure to save it for future. For example, my story has two characters, Oscar the boy and Lando the dragon. I've already saved their appearance details to maintain consistency throughout the animation process. Pro tip, by saving the character design prompt, you can ensure that Oscar and Lando look the same across all scenes and videos, keeping your visuals professional and cohesive. Now that we've got the image prompts, it's time for the next step in my blueprint, generating the visuals. I'm going to be using Leonardo AI, as always, since they offer free credits daily. And when it's free, wow, 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 is it very nice? Once you are in, click on this big button that says image, and you will be presented with this. If you never used Leonardo before, on top, you have this box. And whatever you type into this box, Leonardo AI will turn into an image. And on the left, we have the settings. If you're not sure what to choose, just follow me. First, click on model and choose Phoenix 0.9. This model is the one to use, in my opinion. Next, you want to set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9, since we are creating a long form video. And that's all for the settings. Now, go back to ChatGPT, copy the first prompt and paste it in. Now, click on generate. And as you can see, Leonardo has generated these beautiful images. Now, copy the second prompt and paste it in. But make sure to copy the character prompt and paste it in to maintain the character consistency. So, you get the point. Repeat this process for all the 24 prompts. Once you are done, download the images. Keep in mind, just download one image out of the four so you don't end up with a billion images. Now, this takes us to the next step, and that is animation. So guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment so we can push the algorithm. It really helps me a lot. Anyway, to make these animations, we'll be using Kling.ai. If you saw my last video, you should already be familiar with it. But if not, it's basically a website that lets us create complex animations within minutes and for free. So head over to Kling.ai and sign up. Once you are in, click on the video icon and make sure the image to video is selected. And now, import the image you downloaded from Leonardo AI. As for the settings, you don't need to change anything. Kling AI can handle it. Then, click on generate and wait for the animation to be generated. And as you can see, the animation is perfect, maybe even better than the ones we are replicating. Now, repeat this process for all the images. And once all the images are done, just download them. Next up, we need to add voiceover to our story. For this, we will use the best AI text-to-speech software out there. The software is called Eleven Labs. 
Labs. And the best thing is, you get 10,000 credits every single month by signing up. I will leave a link in the description for you. Once you are in, head over to the voice library. Here, you can listen to a sample of the different voices to hear what they sound like. The voice that's going to be perfect for these videos is this one. So press add and now go to the text to speech section. And here, set the voice you chose. Keep in mind, you should pick a different voice, you know, so there won't be dozens of accounts with the same voice. And as for the setting, you don't actually need to tweak anything. So I'm going to go ahead and paste my script in here and then press generate. Now it's going to start generating the voiceover. And once it's done, just press the little download button in the bottom right corner. Once that's done, we'll put everything together. And this process only takes a few minutes. So to keep it simple and cheap as possible, we will use CapCut. First, start by importing the animation from Kling.ai and the voiceover from Eleven Labs. Next, the first thing you need to do is cut out the pauses in the voiceover. This will ensure it sounds natural and smooth, making the viewer enjoy listening to it. The difference it makes is huge. Trust me. Once that's done, drag the animations onto the timeline and make sure they are in the right order. If you mix them up, you will ruin the video. And one more thing, make sure the images align with the story. Anyway, now what you want to do is to add transitions to enhance the flow of the video. To do that, click on transitions in the top left and choose something like mix animation. But this is optional. Look around and find ones you like. Now, with that done, we need to adjust the colors so that the video pops more. Up here, click on adjustment and drag the custom layer onto the timeline and adjust the length to cover the whole video. On the right side, you can change these settings. If you don't know how, just copy mine. So add some saturation, clarity, and sharpen. Then play with the colors for a bit. For the secret I was telling you about in the beginning of this video are subtitles. Without subtitles for these types of videos, you're done for. Luckily, CapCut has a built-in feature that will create the captions for you in minutes. So to do that, in the top left, click on text auto caption and set the language to English or whatever language you want and hit generate. And once it's done, what you want to do is change the styling because the default ones are boring and we don't want that. To do this, on the right, click on the text, go to templates, search through the templates and find one you like. Then just resize it to fit the screen better, something like this. And I know this might be too many information for you, but don't worry if you have any questions. Join my free Discord community and I will help you with anything. Link is down below. And now all there's left to do is to export the video. So click on this blue export button and set the resolution to 1080p and frame rate to 60 for the best quality. Oscar wandered the forest, his boots crunching over fallen leaves, when he discovered a glowing egg hidden beneath a bed of moss. Heart pounding, he carried it home. That night, the egg cracked open, revealing a tiny dragon with emerald green scales and golden eyes. Oscar smiled and named him Lando. Now, you have officially created your first faceless video. And remember, the most important part is staying consistent and outperforming your competitor's quality. Always keep that in mind. Other than that, drop a like and a comment if you found this helpful, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See ya.